I've always wanted to shoot one of those big bore air guns, so as soon as I learned that there was a new monster of a Leshy to release, I knew I had to try one. That's a 9mm air rifle ladies and gents, or 35 cal as imperial units go, and one that's regulated and semi-automatic. Let's talk about the features of this beast. As you can imagine the air consumption is higher in this caliber, so by default the gun comes with a larger plenum, 137 cubic centimeters, and the carbon fiber tank with a volume of 350 or 470 cc, this one here being the 470 cubic centimeters one. The AER or externally adjustable regulator is there too. I chose a reflex hand guard, but there is a Picatinny rail one available too. The hand grip is a beautiful micarta with some tools and spares inside. The magazines on all leshes are 8 shot and so are these, only the 9mm ones are made of titanium. I chose a 450mm barrel and apparently it has a pretty fast twist rate. In the butt plate you'll find the new digital gauge by Edgun, the Mizi. And to keep the gun quiet, even at those high power levels, the Behemoth Trilock Modular Suppressor. I was pleasantly surprised to find a muzzle brake in the box too. It's tri lug as well, just like the suppressor, which means you can quickly switch between the behemoth and the muzzle brake without losing accuracy and making the gun more compact but extremely loud too. There are some more goodies included in the kit, such as a quick detach swivel, a compact tool for the externally adjustable rig, and a t-shirt to make us shooters look sharper than usual, if looking sharper than this is even possible at all. Now let's go for some accuracy testing, first with your regular 81 grain exact diabolo pellets in 35 cal at a velocity of 800 feet per second. Then it's the 77 grain Hades at the same velocity. Well, I was pretty sure that I could do better with those, so I went on and shot another 8 round group with the Hades. As can be expected, the regular Diabolus performs better with a group measuring 25mm from center to center if you consider that third shot a flyer, which in my opinion is very good for a gun of that caliber. The first 8 shots with the Hades were kinda disappointing, but the second group was pretty good with the exception of another obvious flyer. We are already out at our makeshift terminal effect check shooting range. This is the camera. There is a plexiglass in front of it because I think that there will be severe ricochets off of this if the 35 cal Hades goes through that block of clay. Let's see what happens now, guys. The camera survived, but there are bits and pieces on the plexiglass. Good thing we decided to use it. The impact was brutal. But the good thing is the projectile is in sight. Let's cut it open and see what's the terminal effect once again. Let the cutting begin. The clay dries out rapidly. Almost there. Ooh. Wow. Let me see the pellet, man. I'd say that's a perfect expansion. Our in-house pastry chef is getting the block of clay ready for the JSB exacts in 35 caliber. Some water.
All right, the result with the GSB Exacts in 35 caliber was a little bit different. We have a pass through. This is where the pellet landed after it went through the entire block of clay. Big hole in the front, a small hole at the end. Uh, I don't think that there is even any sense in cutting it. But we decided to cut it nonetheless. Whoa, <laughs> the string broke. Did you cut your finger, mate? No? All right, we'll just use a knife. Well, I still think that the channel is kind of impressive. The next thing that we're going to try is a cinder block. It's 12 centimeters thick. Let's see what kind of damage the two types of pellets are going to cause to this thing. First, I'm going to shoot four Hades and then four Exacts 35 caliber. Let's go. Okay, on this one, I have to say the cinder block wins. Apparently, roughly 120 foot-pounds energy are not sufficient to break it. There is no pass-through. We measured the holes of both pellet types about three inches in. That's it. That was a Hades pellet. No, and there is no expansion. Those are the two pellets that we retrieved from the cinder block. As you can see, no expansion at all. Not even on the Hades and none on the exact. Next, we'll try this sheet of galvanized tin. It's 1.2 millimeters thick. We're gonna shoot from the same distance, 50 meters, 55 yards, one shot with the Hades, one shot with the JSB exact 35 caliber. I don't think that this test is valid and let me show you why. It's because of what we chose to be a backstop, the cinder block. Look at the dents. Now let's remove the cinder block and try again. No, it wasn't because of the cinder block. Same result, no pass through. Oh yeah, by the way, to the left is the Hades again, just like on the previous test, and to the right is the GSB Exact. Now let me show you how mushroomed those pellets are. Perfect mushrooming, but that's no surprise when you impact such a hard surface. Now this, this is the JSB Exact, and this is the Hades. Yeah. At the front, both of them are so smooth, you couldn't tell that this was a Hades once. Eventually, we realized that there was a misunderstanding there. We spoke to the guy who gave us this piece of metal again, and it turned out that it was not tin, but a thin rolled steel sheet hence the inability of the projectile to penetrate it at 50 meters or 55 yards. Next test will be your normal tin. It's taken out of a ventilation shaft. It's 1.2 millimeters thick, but it's not as nearly as strong as the previous one. Let's try it. I'm gonna try a burst this time. Three shots with the JSB Exact, three shots with the Hades. Okay, to the right, three shots JSB exact 35 caliber, to the left, three shots Hades 35 caliber again. Yeah, this one down there, probably I pulled it, but <laughs> I mean, all of these shots went through. We left the fun part at the end. Three with the Hades, three with the JSB exact.
All right, I have to admit that we made a lot of mess, but we'll clean after ourselves and we'll be off. So, I hope you enjoyed the video on this beautiful but quite windy spring day. And I also hope that you liked the presentation of the new beast by the Edgun, the Leshy 29mm. At this point I have no permission to use it on live targets. I'll try to get a permission to hunt medium to big game, maybe even do some pest control on jackals. So stay tuned, more interesting stuff is coming soon everyone. Thank you for watching and catch you on the next one.